first snow really has an interesting history because when Nanette and I first moved back to Placerville, I was intrigued by the woods of the Sierra foothills. We would get snow in Placerville several times a year, and I was always anxiously awaiting that first snow. One year we got an October snow, and there were fall colors all over the mountainside, and yet here was this beautiful blanket of snow. I've always thought there was something so poetic about the idea of first snow. It's like a new beginning for nature. Scriptures tell us that God's mercy is new every morning, and surely when the snow falls, it is like a new morning for nature. First Snow was created for a gallery exhibit in the late 80s. I did this painting in my early 30s, and I was really experimenting with the colors of nature and with effects of light. There's something very symbolic about the idea of snow falling on the brilliant colors of autumn. If you've ever seen that effect, you would be amazed at the contrast between the cool tones of the snow and the fire, the radiance of those fall colors. It makes the color seem all that much more intense. I enjoy the idea of a little roadway covered in snow with the tracks of maybe sleighs. You don't see tire tracks, so perhaps this is an earlier nostalgic era back at a time where people would travel the country roads by horse-drawn carriage during the summer months, and in winter there would be the use of those beautiful horse-drawn sleighs. I tried to capture the brilliance of sunlight in the light patches. You can see the very radiant effect of light as it hits the leaves on the outer edge of the tree. The patches of sunlight are like little pools of warmth that you are invited into. You almost feel like you want to step from pool to pool, perhaps catching the sunlight on your back, feeling that warmth. The tops of the trees create a subtle effect of softness as I tried to blend the leaves with the mist that seems to be rolling over the landscape. I enjoyed the dark shadowy areas in the left hand side of the painting where snow is meeting up with the leaves that have fallen. There's a lot of mystery as you look into those shadows. You wonder, are there creatures there? Is there a pathway that you might walk back into the forest? Is there a little fox burrowed away in his den keeping warm during this first snowfall? This painting was done for a one-man exhibit I had in Carmel. And yet, the rediscovery of this painting, along with many others that had been sold to individual collectors, and there was no record of these paintings whatsoever, and yet, occasionally, they turn up. When we can find a painting from the past, it's almost like a gift from heaven. I like the idea of mystery in this painting. Where is this road going? Art serves as a tool to answer some mysteries, be it a piece of literature or a piece of music or a painting. The works of art that speak to our heart, I think, help us answer mysteries of life. The questions like, what does life mean? Where am I going? What is the purpose for my days on Earth? Really, these paintings are about trying to capture love and put it on canvas, a love that I have as an artist for people, for life, for certain foundational truths, things like family and the joy of nature, a quieter way of living, a simpler life. This painting takes you home. Well, as you can imagine, an artist works all alone. Day in and day out, he spends time in his studio creating something. But the real passion I have is the thought that what I've created can now go into someone else's home and be part of their family. Just think of the memories that are made as people gather in their home. And my painting might be there as, in a way, a silent messenger right there in the home. It's bringing a message of hope and inspiration to others. That's what gets me excited. That's what I call sharing the light. God bless.